everyone, my name is Kelly Volker. I am on the social media team here at Graco, and we are putting together a series of how-to videos for you. So this is going to be the first one in the series. It is how to assemble a love and hug swing. So I'm going to kick it right over to my friend Chad here. He's an engineer on our swing team here at Graco, and he'll show you all the steps you need to take. So here you go, Chad. Hi, I'm Chad, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble your love and hug swing. First, before we get started, let's make sure you have your Phillips head screwdriver and your instruction manual. I want you to turn to page 8 of your instruction manual, and let's just make sure we have all the components here listed on the page. Depending on the model you purchased, you may have a few additional components, but don't worry, the, the basic assembly process will be the same. Okay, let's get started. First, if you notice on your seat pad, you will have a card here. Uh, make sure that you fill out the card and return it to us. This allows us to keep track of who has our products so we can update you with product information or other safety information. So we'll drop this in the mail and now we'll jump into the assembly. So here we have the seat. We're going to flip the seat over. And first we're going to install the vibration module. So grab your vibration module, which is this, along with the two shorter screws. Now first, as you'll notice, there's two holes on the bottom of your vibration module and there's two mating holes in the tube of the seat frame. So line those two holes up, grab your first screw, insert it through the tube first, and then into the vibration module, and you'll need your Phillips head screwdriver to tighten it. You may feel a little, a little bit of resistance, but just make sure you tighten it all the way. Grab your second screw here, and you'll do the same thing. Okay, great. So now that that's attached, we can pull the soft goods over the front tube of the seat again. There we go. Next, we're going to take our wire support here, and we're going to insert it into the hubs of each side of the seat frame. So as you can see, make sure that this L of the wire is oriented in the direction we have it. So we're inserting both sides of the tube. So now we have it in place, and we need to click each side in separately. And once you hear the two clicks, we know it's assembled properly. Now we're going to strap these soft goods onto this wire. There's two of these, these hooks here that will wrap around the wire. It's a little bit tight. Now there's also two snaps that go around the same location, just like this. Again, don't be afraid to pull the soft goods top. Okay, and now there's two more snaps that we need to wrap around this wire here. And the last one. Okay, there we go. Now we have our the beginning part of our seat assembled here. Now, we're going to jump onto these big C-shaped tubes here. Now there's two different tubes. Um, one you can notice has a plastic component attached to the top. So let's grab that one first. And this one will be assembled on my right side of the swing. Now it has these little buttons on the tube. We want to depress that with our finger and then insert it into this side of the hub. And again, listen for the click. You can give it a little tug and make sure it's connected. Now we're going to grab the other side, and there's a button again. We need to depress that button and insert it into the tube. There we go, and it clicks again. You can give a gentle tug on the tubes, and we know they're now properly assembled. Now, there's this uh, support tube again that we need to assemble onto the, uh, the last two tubes we assembled. So, as you can see here, it goes in this location. And there's some holes in the tube that we're trying to line up the center of this plastic component with. And then we just squeeze it on. There we go. And you can see now it's, it's not lined up perfectly, so I can slide the plastic component around until it drops into place. There we go. And you can see it's properly seated into the tube. Now let's assemble our tray. You'll need your, the tray itself, and you also need the pin. Now on the right side, this is where the, the side that the tray is attached to, um, you'll line the two, the seat and the tray up just like that. 
and then you'll take this pin here. Now you'll notice there's some little uh, grips here on the part that should be on the top side of the component. Now make sure you keep the parts lined up as you're inserting the pin. And there you go. Push it all the way in. You may hear a slight click, um, but it's firmly in place. You can give it a tug on the pin. We know it's good. Now, the other side of the tray simply snaps into place, um, and this is the side that you can um, use during normal assembly to remove your child from the swing. Now, that's everything for the seat. So next, we'll move on to the frame itself. Now that we have the seat assembled, let's move on to the frame. If you can turn in your instruction manual to page 16, or the page entitled, Attaching Rear Legs. Now let's jump right in. First, we're going to grab one of the housings here. And you'll notice that we have four different tubes. Two of the, there's two sets of tubes here that are identical. These two and these two. And you can see that the way you can tell the difference is the amount of these buttons you have. One of the tubes has three buttons, the other one has one. So let's grab one of the tubes that has a single button on it. Let's grab this housing here. And we're going to insert it into the back of the housing, which is the side that does not have this red button. So you want to line up the button itself with this rectangular cutout in the housing. You can help by pressing the button a little bit, pushing the tube in until you hear a click. Now we'll do the exact same thing on this other housing. We're going to grab again the tube that has just one button coming off of it. Now this time, it may seem reversed, but it's the, we're going to insert it in the side that's opposite of the red button. Doing the same thing, pressing the button down, and we hear the click. Now, we're going to grab one of the tubes with three buttons on it, and this will be the uh, other, other side of the frame. Now, uh, you'll see there's two rectangular cutouts in the housing, and they'll fit the two first two buttons in there. You may need to use some fingers to, to press that a little bit. And then keep inserting it straight. You'll get to the other button. You'll hear the first pop. And now open the leg all the way up, and you'll feel the, feel the second pop. Now, that's one side of the frame. Now we'll have to do the same thing for the other side. Again, line these two buttons up with the rectangular cutouts in the housing. You may need to depress them slightly. Press the tube in, and there we go. We hear the first click, and then open it up, and there you hear the second click. Great, now we have the two sides of the housing complete. Now we need to move on to the front feet. So you can grab this curved tube here, and you'll notice we're going to assemble the, the two feet to the front of this, but these feet are not symmetrical, so I cannot put this foot on this side. And a quick trick that you can use to know which is the right side is on the bottom of the feet it says front and then a number. On this side of the tube, which would be my right side, we want the one that says front two. So we'll turn this over and there's, there's one hole in the bottom of the tube and there's also a little slot inside of this plastic component, the foot, where we're going to insert the tube, insert the screw, pardon me. Now, I've kind of put the screw in there by hand and tried to line up the screw into the hole of the tube. It's a little difficult, um, but you'll feel once you find the tube hole. And now use your Phillips head screwdriver to firmly screw in. There we go. So, now I have the first foot. It's going very nice. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's put it, this is the orientation that the um, tube will be sitting once in use. So we can see that it looks identical to this side. Now we can flip it over to assemble this, the foot. Okay, again, if you look through here, you can see the hole in the tube. And we will take the screw and try to thread it through the plastic component into the tube. Okay, I found the hole in the tube with the screw, and now I simply need to tighten the screw down. It can be a little difficult, but um, 
try to press down on your screwdriver as much as you can while tightening. There we go, it's nice and snug. Now a quick check, you can take this curved tube here, set it on the ground as I have, and the two white pads on the bottom of the feet should contact the, the floor. That's when we know we've done it correctly. Now, let's move the screwdriver and the instruction manual out of our way. Let's grab the side of the housing that has the buttons on it. We'll hold that here. And then we're going to grab the front of the swing. It's the component we just put the feet onto. And we'll insert these two tubes together. There's no buttons here. Um, you simply push them together. There you go. It's all the way on. These round hubs should be on the inside of the swing. I got them on the outside. So, you can see here, have it oriented properly. And we're going to insert the tubes. There we go. Now we're going to insert the back feet on these tubes. Insert that tube there. And one more to go. Okay, so there we have it. We have our frame of our swing. And now we can go ahead and insert the seat onto the frame. And we're getting very close to being done. Now you'll see the, the way you can tell what size the front of the swing is, um, the front of the swing has this curved tube here, and it also is the side with the buttons on it. So we're going to insert the seat tubes from the back side, and again we have little buttons on the tubes, but these will automatically depress, press them in until you hear it click, there you go, and then the other side will do the same thing, click, and give a quick little tug on it, and that's when we know we have our frame properly assembled. Well, finally we'll have the, the mobile and the toys, and we'll jump right into that next. Well, we have one more step until we're all finished. So, let's assemble the mobile arm now with the toys. Let's grab first your mobile arm here, and we will assemble it on the top of the swing. Um, now you'll notice there's a little keyed feature here. We'll slide that in, and then rotate the mobile arm in place, and give it a tug, and it's securely fastened. Now, we're going to assemble these two plastic components together, and there'll be a little bit of a snap once we get them in place. There we go. Now, we'll have the three toys. Uh, each of the toys has a string at the top of it with a little knot. Now take the knot, put it inside this depression here, and slide it in just like that. Now we'll repeat this process for all three toys, just like that. And now the grand finale. We'll put our toys on our mobile arm, just like that. Give it a little tug. And there we have it. There's our swing. Awesome. All right, looks well, really good, Chad. Thanks, everybody, for joining us in this installment of how to uh, assemble a Love and Hug swing. Um, there'll be many more videos to come. If you have an idea or you want to let me know, um, just send me a message on Twitter. I am at Graco Kelly. Or you can also find us on Facebook or at our blog, blog.breakababy.com. Thanks. My name is Kelly Volker. I am on the social media team here at Graco, and we are putting together a series of how-to videos for you. So this is going to be the first one in the series. It is how to assemble a love and hug swing. So I'm going to kick it right over to my friend Chad here. He's an engineer on our swing team here at Graco, and he'll show you all the steps you need to take. So here you go, Chad. Hi, I'm Chad, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble your love and hug swing. First, before we get started, let's make sure you have your Phillips head screwdriver and your instruction manual. I want you to turn it 